Hi friends, welcome back to Trini Kids TV. Or if this is your first time, hi and welcome to Circle Time. My name is Auntie Shade and it's so nice of you to join us today. Now let's start by singing our good morning song. Let's sing together friends. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. And a very good morning to all of our friends that are watching. Now, let's find out what day it is today. Can we sing the days of the week and find out? The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Well, if yesterday was Monday, what comes after Monday, friends? Tuesday! Yes, it's Tuesday today. And what a wonderful Tuesday it is. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday. All day long, all day long. Yes, it's Tuesday. And we are in the month of May. We are in the month of May. Yes, friends. So, can we say the months of the year? The months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Yes, those are the months of the year. Well, now that we know that, I think it's time we find out about our weather. So, Let's sing our weather song together. Ready? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today, today? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Well, is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Now we can take a look out those windows and see what kind of weather we are having today. Well, friends, take a look. Yes, it's a sunny day today. And we all love sunny days, right? They are good days to play outside or even have fun indoors, whatever you decide. Now, it's time to find out our color of the day. What will our color of the day be? Our color of the day is the color red. Yes, red is our color of the day and it's a wonderful color. It's the color of one of the colors of our national flag yes now it's time to find out about our shape of the day can you guess what our shape of the day might be friends well it's a shape that has four sides and four corners and they're all equal what's our shape for today well if you said a square you are right our shape of the day is a square and I'm sure we can find squares in lots of places, right? So let's talk about our number of the day. Our number of the day is the number two. Yes, our number of the day is the number two. What can we do to count to our number of the day? Well, let's pretend that we are buckling our shoes and counting to the number two. Are you ready, friends? Now, this is good exercise because we get to bend 
and stretch. So make sure you're doing it with me. Ready? One, two. There we go. We buckled our shoe and we counted to the number of the day. Good job, friends. Now, let's find out about our letter of the day. What's our letter of the day? Take a look. Z, our letter of the day today is the letter Z. Yes. And isn't our letter of the day wonderful? I'm sure you can think of lots of words that start with our letter of the day, right? Well, take a look. Here are some words that start with the letter Z. Zip, zap, zoo, Z. Great. Now our letter of the day brings us to our area of the day. What's our area of the day? Take a look, friends. Now, Auntie doesn't know of an area in Trinidad and Tobago that starts with the letter Z, but you can visit the zoo whenever it's open again. So, Z is for zoo. Great. Now, it's time to talk about our lesson for today. Are you excited for our lesson? Well, I am. We are going to be talking about one way that we can recycle and make something fun. All right. Today, we are going to be talking about a way that we can save our environment by reusing something that we might have at home. So, my friends, if you have a cereal box or any kind of little box that has a pretty pattern on it, you can take it and make it into a puzzle. Yes, and that, my friends, is one way that we can save the environment by reducing what we use, reusing, and recycling. All right, and today we are going to reuse something that we already had at home and give it a new purpose. So join me for craft time where we will make our very own puzzle using a cereal box. All right, friends, today we are going to be making a little puzzle using, as you can see here, I have a cornflakes box and I just took off the one side of my box and I'm going to make my puzzle. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is flip it over and then I'm going to start drawing um, my puzzle pieces and just make sure that they fit together like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and just make some little patterns and continue like that. Now it does not have to be perfect, right? Just to make it fun. All right, so I think, I think I'm done there. And the next thing I'm going to do, of course, is just cut that out, cut out my pieces. And it's just as simple as that to get my puzzle sorted out. Now it's better to do your um, drawing of where you want to cut out your puzzle in the back, of course, so that you don't ruin your little picture. Now you can use whatever you have at home. It can be any kind of box. It doesn't have to be a cereal box, whatever you have at home. You can make a big puzzle, you can make a small one, anything you'd like to do. So. I'm just going to continue cutting my box here on my line. Alright, so I have two pieces so far. Right. Just 
And there we go. So now let's put our puzzle pieces together. Let's flip them around. <laughs> and we are going to make our puzzle. Right. So this is the biggest piece here. Then of course this piece goes here. And this piece goes to the bottom. And we have two more pieces to the top. Here we have a fun puzzle that you can you made on your own. Now, if you make you want to make a puzzle even stronger, so it lasts a long time, you can put um, cardboard on the back before you cut it out. And we just created our puzzle, so we we. Something. So this is something that you can do to help save the environment and also make lots of fun things to play with at home. So I hope you enjoy. Alright my friends, I know you enjoyed our lesson for today and I hope you find more things at home that you can reuse. So thanks for joining me friends and I'll see you tomorrow.